it all started with YouTube. I would listen to songs on on YouTube, and I found this uh, Canadian French singer, Coup de Pira. Mm -hmm. And after that, I was just like, wow, like French is really beautiful. I want to learn that. And it was just this urge, like I had to learn this beautiful language. And then I was like super into Paris, like Parisian history or like French history. And um, made it a point to go and study there. I wanted to live there. So when I had the opportunity to study there, it was, I had to take it. at the spring semester of being at AUP that it wasn't the school I wanted to be at, that I loved France and I loved the friends I made when I was there, um, but that the curriculum there just wasn't good for video production and that's what I want to do with my life. After doing a lot of theoretical communication stuff, it's mostly essay writing and you know um, ethnographic studies which are awesome. I would love to be part of them but I definitely want to focus on video production. So I decided to transfer out and I was gonna stay for the summer and apply to the school I go to La Cité, which I told you about the other day uh, that I could go to for free. But uh, my flight was coming up really soon and it just seemed like a hassle because I was already out of money to have to figure out how I would stay there, where would I live and like all that, all those problems. <laughs> and. Um, so we decided that I would go back home and I would apply to this other one I was thinking about called ECA. And I talked to my parents about it and they said that was fine. But I would have to apply for loans, I don't get financial aid. So I thought it would be fine. But then I came back home, spent all the time applying, getting everything I needed to send to them, my transcripts, everything. Sent it to them, got accepted, but real I had to give um, the two like the first payment of tuition by August 15th and I had found out like at the beginning of August, end of July and um, there was no time for me to make up the funds by then. I'd be able to study for free if I got in which would definitely help me out in the long run. What if, what if you don't get in? If I don't get in, then I just keep searching. You just keep like, searching. Yeah, because that's the thing. It's like, it sucks because I feel like I've just been stringing along my education and everything, but at the same time, it's like, well, I only live once, <laughs> you know? Um, I If this is what I want to do, then I just have to keep trying. Personally, I feel like I've always had to jump over a lot of bullshit. So it's nothing new if I don't get in and have to find some other way. I mean, I'll do it. My friend calls me a cockroach. She says that I'm so resilient <laughs> because she like I tell her about all the shit that I have to do and like what I see as like hurdles, but like I get around it eventually somehow. <laughs>